Hey everybody, and uh, welcome back to the Roundtable, uh, the YouTube channel, and uh, this is uh, our new little segment we're going to hear, uh, our second new segment actually, um, uh, we're going to call it the, the Friday Show, right? Yep, super simple, um, pretty easy, straightforward show, um, obviously Friday, the end of the week, um, super relaxed, um, so let's talk about As what we want to talk about today. We're going to be talking about some of the best, some of the best videos that we did in high school. We're going to be going back to high school. Fun. Yep. So, oh, who joy. Wants, who? Yeah, yeah, but we're, we're going we're gonna to try and stick with the uh, the positive end of yes. high school, even though everything wasn't uh, 100% positive. Um, so we're going to have the, both the cameras set up, um, So because uh, we don't know how much B-roll we're going to have. Exactly. I um, mean, we have a fair amount for our, our favorite videos we did in high school. So uh, how many each do we want to do? Like, Let's talk about... Our top two. So top two. Three of yeah. us. Top two. That sounds good. Because we want to keep this short. We don't want to have this be as long as the actual podcast that we do on Mondays. So, um, top two videos or maybe like experiences or yeah, yeah. working on a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. It yeah, can yeah. be whatever. Yeah, yeah. And we'll again, we'll try and keep it short. About fifteen minutes at the most. Yep. So. All okay. right, so uh, Dylan, you want to go first since you're you were in FCTV before both of us. Ah, yes, good old FCTV. One, my first, vi- my favorite video that's coming to mind. Would have been the National Gaming Day promo I did. Oh, I yeah, remember first that. Line. Yeah. yeah, that was that was all done in a day. Mm. I, I I had watched something beforehand to get the National Gaming Day. That didn't that <laughs> didn't come out from nowhere. I watched something else where they basically did the same thing, and that was all filmed in a day, all by myself. Mm-hmm. And the school loved it. Yeah. Like, yeah, I was in class when that went on, and everybody in. Uh, class was watching it because I was just sulking in the corner. I'm like, oh no, this is going live. People are going to hear this. Yeah. Wait, people like it? Yeah. Yeah, I remember, like, uh, this was back in the area, era of, like, announcements being played yeah. in class and all that. When and so, they were played. Uh, yeah. And this was before you and I had been formally introduced. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I, I had heard things, and Wetrick spoke highly of you, um, of, of the great Dylan listener. And, yeah. uh, so I remember like just seeing that first promo and one being inspired by it, being mm-hmm. wanting to get that kind of reaction out of people because uh, the second point was that a lot, like just everybody was buzzing about that, like in the halls or in mm-hmm. the class. I heard so much like positive feedback from that one segment. Yeah, I never heard this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um... I know. I know. Mr. Eskew greatly appreciated mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Because when we were filming the dual controllers uh, coverage of uh, National Gaming Day, he specifically brought that up. And in the in the interview during that video, you kind of see him. Um, I tried to cover it up, but I didn't do the crossfade good enough. Mm-hmm. You can actually see him look over at me off frame and say, and basically do a, or the uh, the promos we that were done were really good. Yeah, like one of those deals. Right. Um, let's go down the line. You say one. Okay. Uh, so top two, I'd have to say. The my second favorite one we did it was the one you and I did uh, the um, the homecoming the football feature that was very fun yeah and uh, um, I, you still have the video on your YouTube I channel do. Um, of the reaction got it played in front of pretty much the entire school all of the classes in the gym and I remember when those credits came up you know the the whole gym just went roaring like. <laughs> Yeah, it was nice. in, like that might have been the best reaction we've gotten to a film. Oh yeah, or or something that we've done because obviously we've done things at like a film festival mm-hmm. or anything like that. Gotten pretty good response, but it's different when we're doing something for the school and people are invested uh, in like the the program right. and they they just feel like a, a sense of pride and ownership in the yeah. I think that's where the reaction came from. Yeah, and it's like cuz it's interesting cuz at, at the high school we went to there really is there really was no school spirit to speak of, you know. Yeah. The football yeah. team was not the best. No. So. And and you know there was no real yeah there were pep rallies of course that's where we played it. Um but there was no like um again there was no like and of course there was spirit week and everything, but there was no like um Again, there was no school spirit and everything. So to have that kind of reaction to something we did, because you know, none of us were athletes, you know. No. I, I, you know, clearly, yeah. Well, <laughs> well, I've been, you know, but um, 
so and just to have you know these you know these two guys you know who we were that was sophomore year right um i think it was junior year no, that we did no year. no it was sophomore year. sophomore year, year. yeah yeah yeah, was, yeah um i was gonna bring up something but i because it was a electric project yeah yeah electric was still there yeah yeah it was it was first semester you know just to have these uh these you know the two sophomores we were only in the second year of fctv and you know just to have that kind of reaction like that was like that's something that sticks with you forever so mm-hmm. so uh right so it wasn't necessarily a video that was produced i think i have a couple highlights on my uh personal channel um from this thing we called the the fctv telethon or fctv live stream mm-hmm. and we streamed for probably t- uh six hours that night yeah uh, at least live from the studio we had a, a bunch of different people coming in because i believe what had happened was that the talent show was canceled Really? And there were a lot of people who uh, had, like, things that they wanted to do or things that they had planned and worked yeah. hard for. So we figured, let's do a live stream and do yeah. that. So I remember, like, Sam Meyer and Austin Schmidt and uh, Aaron Taylor. Oh, um, uh, They all performed live, mm-hmm. um, which is cool. I know I have at least one of those videos. Yeah. Um, and then, like, uh, Chris Ely and Trent Buchanan, I have a video of them doing Afternoon Delight and, uh, live. Bryson um, doing his uh, DJ. Yeah, Bryson DJed, which was cool. Um, so that was like a really cool event. I believe we had like, we had like food and catering. Like I remember mm. specifically Chick-fil-A being Yeah, there, I was going to say. Which was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a really fun time and it was different because I, we were all live. Yeah, that is interesting to, you know, think about what things were like back then. But, um, yeah, let's back down the road. Dylan. My second, uh, my sec, the, the next video I would like to talk about, I, I'd have to go re- find the DVD that it's on. But uh, the Matrix skit that Brandon, Sam, and I did for uh, at Faculty Night Live back mm-hmm. when Faculty really? Night Live was around. Oh, well, they brought it back. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, our, I know. Our, I did our hear about that. So they brought it back. It was a disaster. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. But it was so much fun. Ugh. But it, it wasn't the best shot. Mm-hmm. It wasn't the best acted. Mm-hmm. But we had fun. It yeah. Was, yeah. It's a testament to what getting a group of people together and doing something could be a fun thing to do. Yeah, it was fun to put together. It was fun to shoot. It was fun to work with Mr. Martin and have him be the Agent Smith. Oh, I think I wasn't giving him clear enough directions because I it looked like he was getting a bit frustrated because uh, I think it was Brandon and I who was working with him at the time. Mm-hmm. Sam was off doing something, I believe. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. But uh, it worked out. Yeah. And the reaction it got. I- in the auditorium that was amazing i, I need to find the dvd and yeah, get the footage yeah off find it. it yeah yeah and use the, the method i taught you oh uh, yes yes yeah. just uh it was great to work with mccaffrey he was such mm, yeah uh, a really he was a he was a really relatable guy he was yeah he was up for a lot of things though he wouldn't say yes or no right then and there like doug harder would yeah. but he was a pretty chill guy yep yeah the, sad we never got to work with him because uh uh, our freshman year, he that's you know he wasn't there. So yeah. Yeah. Um, our year, uh, our freshman year started the the harder area, and our senior year was the one of two years that Woldridge was principal. She was great. Yeah, she yeah. was very great. You know, she gave me a ride home once. Really? Yeah, I missed the bus or something, huh. and she gave me a ride home. Huh? Well, that was nice. We you, we like kind of like you friendly with her. I. Had I, I stayed at, I wasn't in the office long enough for her to hate me. <laughs> <laughs> Ask around to see if people still have their DVDs because I'm gonna have to do some big searching. Yeah, they for didn't. That. They didn't do DVDs. Uh, sadly, but oh, yeah. they they did record it. I know because I was a cameraman there. And it and sucks uh, because I didn't save that video when I should have. Mm. Like literally days after Faculty Night Live, we were dumping the computers, and I thought I had saved it. Mm. It's all right. Well. Um... Okay, yeah, so, if nothing else. Um, probably the my favorite video that we did, uh, another collaboration Brian and I did, uh, the um, For These Eyes Only. Yep. So, um, that was, uh, the, uh, we did two documentaries, not counting the, the FCTV one that we entered into the film festival. That's a whole other episode. That's a rant for another Friday show. Oh, God. I was there to experience that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, but before we get too negative... Um, so that was uh, we out of darkness. I love that one too, of course. You know because of the subject matter and how closely it related to us. But um, I I I love for these eyes only because you know one the subject material again um, that was you know because you know 
the kind of subject it had to be, a story that had to yeah. be told, and the the production uh, of it, you know, was a big step up from Out of yeah. Darkness. So um, yeah, we thought bigger. We wanted to go beyond the limits of what Out of Darkness was. Mm-hmm. So we ended up upping the the production value, um, like you said, mm-hmm. and then the the scale of it. So yeah. Um, we were able to get in contact with another local filmmaker, borrow lenses, borrow more gear. Yep. Um, he, I think he let us lend, lend us like three three microphones, um, maybe a tripod and a microphone. No, no, it was three lenses, a microphone, and a tripod. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that was that was exciting. Um, yeah. To have the support of another local filmmaker um, mm-hmm. who uses that stuff for his own um, business to trust us with it and to know. Um, that we one will take care of it, and two that will do good with it. Yeah, and then, um, and then just thinking bigger and um, long late hours in Indianapolis filming yeah, yeah, like all day. Uh, rough. Uh, we uh, we met a, a security guard. Yeah, uh, we met a very interesting person uh, at uh, Wish TV, one of the local news stations here. We shot at. Uh, we were we were leaving. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were leaving. Uh, I don't think you've heard the story. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't I, we've walked. We were walking out. We were we were gonna go eat uh, some you know last minute dinner um, at, at a McDonald's just down the road. So we we were talking to the security guy, and at first we were kind of like we were telling him what we were gonna do, and at first he was kind of like uh, kind of concerned or whatever. Yeah. But then he was just like, "Hey, listen, guys, I'm hungrier than a fucking bear right now." <laughs> so uh, so yeah so and he paid you know he paid us you know to get get him some food so you know everything so yeah, and we, I had to it was nice of I guys. handed him my phone <laughs> and he wrote down like what he, what all he wanted us to get because obviously I don't want to mess up his order yeah. and I probably still have the notes somewhere which I might we might end up putting on screen if yeah, I still yeah. have it um, but I remember like the the English in it wasn't the best or like yeah, the way that he like hyphenated or abbreviated <laughs> was so weird yeah. Like when it be, it was like double like D B L Chi Burr or something like that, which was weird. <laughs> yeah. But we understood maybe, it. Maybe he worked in a restaurant before he was a, a security yeah. guard. Shorthand. But, uh, restaurant shorthand. Yeah, yeah, that's actually. Um, but that's one of the great things about about filmmaking is that you know when you when you venture out into you know different parts of the of your comfort zone, venture out of your comfort zone. You 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 meet all these interesting people, and you know you. You yeah, have, have all, yeah, you have experiences, and it's 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 great. It's one of the it's one of the things why we we love doing this, why I love, and why we love doing this stuff, you know, all the time. So, yeah. So, um, if if that's all you have um, to say, I think uh, even though because we shot that in like two weeks, it was like two weeks that we shot because um, we there were other things going on behind the scenes, which we'll probably get into in another episode. We decided before our deadline to to to. Two weeks before the deadline, to you know, go ahead and go through with it. Yeah. So, and then another thing that I just remembered uh, that I definitely wanted to touch on was that um, we f- did a lot of the editing like at school. Oh yeah, um, yeah. But I then I this. did. Uh, I took it home because mm-hmm. I had a Mac, and I think you yeah. had worked that night or something. So we got on yeah. a, a Skype call uh-huh. um, or a Google Hangout um, at the end of the night, uh-huh. and we finished the edit, and we were happy with it. And I let it export overnight. Yeah. And it froze. Yeah. And Premiere crashed. Yeah. Wow. And the whole project file was corrupt. Yeah. Days before the deadline. Yeah. Like it was the original deadline was the next day. But because it was like a super snowy bad weekend, yeah, we had some we had to, yeah, we had a, a like a two two day extension. Uh-huh. So all day Saturday, I re edited the whole thing because one, the roads were really bad, so you couldn't get out to my house because I kind of no. live yeah. out in the country, and, and I, I think you a, worked. No, I didn't have a car at the okay. time. Okay, so I didn't. No, I didn't have a. I didn't have a job mm-hmm. at the time. I didn't have a car either. So so it was. All day Saturday, yep. stressing out, trying to remember exactly how things were edited, yep. how titles were animated, because that's back when I did nameplates in Premiere. Uh-huh. So that was fun. And I, think, um, and I think it was pretty similar to how it was cut, because I don't think that cut exists anymore. Um, I think it does, or it might have. The thing that I thought was interesting, though, so it, it did not work on my MacBook at all. Mm-hmm. I took it... Like, after re-editing the whole thing, yeah. Monday, 
when yeah. we got back to school, I plugged it into the FCTV iMac. Mm-hmm. Pulls the full project right up. Yep, really? yep. I remember that. Uh, so yeah. I don't, I don't remember if that's the cut we turned in or I, if I, it's I, I the think, new cut. I think, it, I think it was the original cut. Yeah, I think that was the one that we kind of agreed on. Yeah, uh, like they were, there were minor, minor differences. Yeah, but I think that the thing why we went with the original was for like our original collective color grade um, mm-hmm. yeah. overall because we had more time to put into that mm-hmm. originally. Yeah, that. Uh, oh, um, what was his name? Russ McQuaid. Yes, Russ McQuaid. Uh, Riley Gilbert, uh, who was kind of our chauffeur and our boom operator for this project, uh, um, which thank you, to, thank you, Riley, by the yep. way. Um, Riley described him, Russ McQuaid, as um, the Han Solo of the news industry. So. Yeah. He was a really cool guy to me. And he was actually, he took the time to come down for the premiere at the film festival. Yeah, and we met, have a picture and with we, him and at we met, the premiere. And we met his son, too, yep. Denver. Um, yeah, again, this is one of the things that we love about filmmaking is that when you venture out of your comfort zone, you go to go all these places, you know, you meet all kinds of, you know, weird, great people, so. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to say, but, um, yeah. Yeah, so my, I guess my favorite memory um, from high school, obviously not repeating anything that we've, we've previously talked about, because the, the documentaries were fun, um, the live streams, they were fun. Um, but I did a lot and probably produced more videos for choir than I did FCTV. Oh, yeah. Um, and I specifically remember, and it's not so much a project that I did personally. Um, it was one that somebody next to me went behind my back and did. Um, and I heard about afterwards. So for those that don't know, Tom and I both did choir my senior year. Mm -hmm. And, um, we would always produce the, the transition videos that way instead of the current curtain being down and yeah. you just have to wait, we'd do fun little videos that were maybe 90 seconds, yeah. sometimes a little longer. Um, but the one that went on right before um, Heritage Singers, the yep. show choir I was a part of, mm-hmm. um, was a video that Tom made specifically about me, um, about how I had done the videos since my sophomore year before I was even in the, the choir um, yeah. itself. And I remember, like, after the concert everybody's talking about the video and I, I'm like, what video? And, uh, like Michaela, my girlfriend was crying about it. And like, my family was super excited to see that and hear that. And I had no idea what they were talking about. Um, and it wasn't until the next day that Tom sat me down in the studio. It was just the two of us. And, um, he showed me the video. We cried. We had a a good bro moment. I, um, I never told you this, Ryan, but I actually did record that. Did you? The reaction. I never posted it. I still have it, of course. It's okay. on my Google Drive. But I, I'm like, mm, I don't really feel right about posting yeah. this. So, I and I you. probably never will. Um, I can share it with you if you want. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm not going to post it because I was like, okay, let's keep this private between us. But, yeah, that's... Um, hmm. I'm surprised you may, named that one in particular. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that... Uh, I am... Proud of that. I, no one ever. I feel like it had to be done. Somebody yeah. had to do it. But it's like you. No one ever expressed any interest in it. Um, or, or, or not that no one would wouldn't have done it. But it's like okay, if someone's gonna do it, it's gonna be me. Yeah. So I it was like okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. So yeah. I, I pitched it to Michael Hummel, our director, musical director. Um, and I. That I was like, okay, whereas like it was like I was really getting close, and uh, Bryson, Dylan's your brother, um, he and I were in the control booth, and you and uh, another girl, Leah, yeah, um, were was a choir present at the, at the time. You know, you were kind of like talking. I think you were working on the projectors, yeah, and then I was right behind you, whispering to to Bryce. Uh, I was just like. Yeah, so I don't know yeah. how many of you guys heard that. So um, and so so it was like so I and I told him like okay, don't put it in the the program, the presentation until because I don't think you had uploaded the other videos you did. No, it and was then, literally last night. Uh, and the thing was like I was so caught up with pre- preparing all the videos and then 
also partaking in three different choirs uh, at the time. So mm-hmm. it was a very stressful time to where oh, I yeah. just completely overlooked the fact that he was probably doing something behind my back, which <laughs> I feel kind of oblivious to it or dumb about it now. Well, that that was the whole point but, of it. But, yeah, it, it, that's the part that made it so special. Yeah, it worked, it worked out perfectly. Like, very few things work out perfectly, especially for me. But it's like, okay, I need the surprise has to work. It has yep. to work. He cannot find out before, and he didn't. So yep. I was like, all right, we're good. So good on you, man. And I yep. remember uh, uh, the the reaction. I don't. Okay, I don't know if this was a reaction to after the video was over. The crowd went wild. The curtain went up. I don't know if they were applauding for the video or for Heritage. <laughs> I think it was a mixture of both. Yeah, I was just like, wow, that was... I almost, like, <laughs> broke yeah. down there. So I was like, wow, okay. So mm-hmm. and that's, that's another thing. The reactions, you know, those are those are what stick with you. You know, not so much the monetary gain. The monetary gain is nice and helpful and yeah. everything, but um, not not that we made any money from that. But no. Well, you made a little bit. But a little bit. From the, from from the, the other the, choir videos. Yeah, but, from the DVDs uh, and all but, that. But uh, not much else, but... Anyway, that but that that's what sticks with you the most. So yep. the the joy, joy is what sticks with you. I think, um, yeah, yeah, that's I, a, that's about it. So yeah. So what the Friday show, like I said in the beginning, is going to be more of a a, a relaxed show. Yeah, um, just, it's not going to be long like the podcast. No. Um, well, hopefully. Um, but it is going to be kind of like a, a nice way to end the week where the three of us are kind of coming back together um, yeah. at the end of the week uh, yeah. and just kind of talking and having a discussion about something yeah. or reviewing a movie or um, it'll it'll be something kind of different every week but you'll yeah. kind of get the same yeah. consistent yeah. vibe. Yeah. This is one of the the Friday show on the round table so uh, we're, we're not quite sure of the subject material we're going to be doing on here so uh, we've got like tons of documents on there that Definitely. this will probably be another one yep um so um yeah we're we're excited we're excited for where this channel is gonna go so uh hopefully you guys uh hopefully will gain more of an audience and uh, hopefully you guys are excited too so and keep spreading the word so when you, and we hope you enjoy the ride yeah yep all right so i want to thank you all for watching i'm sure for all of us here thank you for tuning in uh Hopefully you enjoyed uh, today's episode of the Friday show, and we will see you guys on Monday for another episode of the Filmmakers Roundtable. Have a good weekend.